Praise God. Praise God. Good morning. I pray that you all are having a blessed morning. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So this subject is a rare subject, but a powerful subject, which is a true subject. Uh, I'm just going to dive right into it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So basically, here's what's going on. Um, I've been seeing stuff since I was 27 years old. Well, let me just say it. I've been seeing demons since I was 27 years old. When God, um, how could I say that, unveiled my spiritual senses, my spiritual eyes. I've been seeing them since I was 27. I am now 52. I see them in the daytime. I, I just see them. I see them in people. So you can't just walk up to me and, you know, I see spirits on people. I, I see spirits on dogs, animals. It, it's it's full-blown. I'm talking about the gift that I have is full-blown. Not trying to brag or anything. I'm telling you so I can get to the subject of what I'm saying. So basically, um, like I said, I've been seeing demons and angels since I was 27 years old. All right, so... I want to talk to you about something because I want y'all to be in the know of what's going on. And it happened this morning. So that that's why. And I had never talked about it before. And God said, I want you to start talking about it. This is the end and people need to know what's going on and what's happening. So when I was in Augusta, Georgia, I saw this hawk, right? I was going through something and I don't know. Every time demons were around, I see this hawk. So one day we actually took a picture of the hawk and I'm going to um, try to find the picture. And so anyway, um... It was something angelic about this hawk. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm not kidding. We have witnesses of about four or five of us. And I'm telling you that hawk, every time them crows would come around, that hawk would just, I'm talking about a peer, but it wasn't It wasn't a normal hawk. hawk. So I went in the uh, room and I prayed and I said, God, what's going on? God said, that's my, that's my angels. They turn into hawks. I'm telling y'all, okay? So just go with the story. Listen to what I'm saying. Y'all going to understand what I'm saying. So he said, and crows are the birds of angels. So I already knew this because when I was in Sacramento in 2013, God had sent me outside and late at night. That's right. I went late at night and um, I was I went to throw something away in the trash can, but I could have thrown it away in the home. But God said, no, I want you to go outside and throw it. So I went outside and before I can get around the corner, I saw, this is what I saw. I saw a human and then all of a sudden they transformed. That was the first time I saw a transformation. That's why I don't particularly care for cats. I don't hate cats, but demons can transfer into cats and crows. Y'all, Okay, I'm telling y'all what I know. Cats and crows, they can use anything as a possession. But crows and cats are their main thing. Come on, somebody. So that was the first time. And I went back in the house and I was like, Lord, what did I just see? He said, I wanted you to see what they do. They transformed themselves. I'm not kidding. So that was the first time. The second time I saw them transfer into a crow. I said, oh, my God. And so this morning I was sitting up here um, doing some things, right? And I had the door open. And I never have the door open this early in the morning. But I noticed that they had this. And, and one thing about it, I'm going to tell you all how you all know. You all don't notice those big crows, those big, big crows. Those those are the um angel demons, all right? Not the small ones. The small ones are little demons. But the big, big ones, you, you all know, y'all been seeing them big, big ones. The, those the ones. So I'm looking up, and I promise you, it was like I saw a human, and all of a sudden I saw the crow. And I, I said, wait a minute, did I just see God? I said, yes, you did. And so when I went outside, the crow was on the thing. Now, let me tell y'all how real it is. When you have the power of the Holy Ghost and the anointing, they cannot come in your yard. Y'all better understand what I'm saying. Them crows cannot come in. And if they come, all you got to do say is in the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have no authority to be around me. And they got to go. Now, let me tell y'all something. If they can land in other people's homes and other people's businesses... That means that that place is tainted because no, notice they cannot come on your ground because it's holy ground. Anytime you anoint it, it is holy ground. You understand what I'm saying? Because God has given you anointing power and authority. So believe it or not, he went on the, uh, on the other side of the fence. I said, yeah, cause you can't come around here. So I just want y'all to know in these last days, it is imperative that you get you, you get more anointed, if that's a word. I'm so serious, y'all. It is time for you to go deeper like never before. God told me to tell you that the hunt is on. 
This is spiritual warfare like never before. We don't have time to play games. I'm going to start getting up on here more often. I do apologize. Y'all know um, I finally, uh, I'm in the last stages of opening this business. So, oh, Lord, y'all have to please forgive me. You know, but trust me, I'm coming back even harder because I love the Lord first. Don't get it twisted. But I'm telling y'all right now. This stuff is real. This is not a game. This is not in my mind. Trust me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Be careful because they transform me not only to animals. They transform into humans. We talking about succubus, incubus. We talking about, let me tell y'all what's taking out people. God said, first of all, he said, too many Christians are running behind money. Y'all working too many jobs. Pharaoh system got y'all so wore out. Let me, I'm going to walk this thing through this morning. God said, Deanna, that's why some of them smoke, some of them drink, some of them have sex because they so wore out working all those jobs. They need some kind of relief. God never told you to get a job. God gave you a work to do. That's why in this hour, so many people are getting their businesses because guess what? God put something inside of you. That's why you have that business idea. That's why you have those talents. That's why you have those gifts. They are not for Pharaoh. That's for the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You working two, three jobs. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, I'm about to go here this morning. Do you understand what mental slavery is? We as a people, and hold on, I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about all nations. We have been conditioned to be mentally and historically conditioned to be a servant. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to say that again. We have been conditioned to be a servant. We have been conditioned mentally and historically because guess what? That's why they sent us to school for first to 12th grade. They don't teach you how to be deployed because that's what God do. God say, go and usurp your authority. They teach you how to be employed. Oh, I'm going to walk this thing out. Y'all don't even understand what the Pharaoh system is. Huh? It's slavery. It's slavery because guess what? It's going to get you this way. It's going to get you that way. That's why the family is messed up. That's why the mother's father's got to work two or three jobs. Now you can't take care of the children. Now they raising our children with technology. Y'all better understand what I'm saying this morning. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. In this hour, you have to be so anointed. How do I stay anointed apostle? How do I become anointed even more anointed you got to get closer to god you got to go so deep in this hour i'm not playing quit running after money don't you know if you take care of god's business god's gonna take care of yours so this this how they got us right y'all working so much and why do people work a lot and i'm about to i'm about to say some things y'all not gonna like i don't care you know why people work a lot let me tell you why people work a lot so they can have a lot so they can show off a lot yeah i said it how i said it. you want these big cars these big houses and you're tired you know you're tired you're sick and tired your body cannot take that you can say what you want i'm 52 i know what i'm talking about i used to work them three jobs your body cannot handle that stress and the next thing you know i need a cigarette i need a joint i'm going here i need some weed i need i need some pills i need something to calm me down because you're overworked underpaid and guess what you're stressed which i rebuke in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that's why God never commanded that because he knows your body can't handle that come on somebody hallelujah I always go back to the beginning always go back to the beginning how did God take care of Abraham and the children of, of Israel supernaturally come on somebody hallelujah yeah he gave you gifts he gave you things inside of you that you're supposed to pull out come on somebody come on somebody hallelujah their gifts and, and talents and everything, but yet you go under Pharaoh and you let Pharaoh use your gifts and talents and you build up Pharaoh's kingdom. I just said something, which is the kingdom of darkness, which is the kingdom of Satan. I'm telling you what God say. It is time for you to come to God all the way. Say, God, I'm going to trust you. I don't understand it. Some of y'all are got comfortable in being uncomfortable. Oh, I'm about to go here. I'm about to go here. You know what does say the Lord? He says, Deanna, they love to be oppressed. We have a people that love oppression. They love oppression. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know, when you are, when you loved oppression, that's because you've been into it so long till you don't know how to get out of it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you're really a victim. What is a victim? A victim is somebody that can't even help themselves because they are a victim of what? Of oppression. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God never told you to be under oppression and suppression.
God wants to relieve you. God wants to bless you. God wants to, I'm talking about lift you up to a place that you have never known, brother of God, sister of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, woman of God, man of God. But you're going to have to want this thing. Do you want to know? I was reading a book. And let me tell you what the first step to being successful is. Are you worthy? Do you think that you are, do you, are you worthy of it? Because let me tell you something, what oppression does. Oppression say, hey, look, sit here, do this and do that because you can't do this. God wants to bless you like never before. And I'm not talking about you, but just prosperity. He wants to free you. So guess what? You can come up on, um, off from under that medication. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know why a lot of people are on medication, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, because they have been overworked and stressed. I'm telling y'all what God say. It is the, let me tell you something. It is the purpose of oppression is to oppress you in every area of your life. And God says, I've come that you might have life and have life more abundantly. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what God wants to do is free us in every area of our life. So I want you to do a little um, checklist. In every area of your life, are you truly free? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hear me this morning. Hear my spirit. God wants to free us in this hour like never before. So in this last hour, it's going to hurt. Oh, come on. Somebody. It's already hurting. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because guess what? The devil and Pharaoh system, that's all it does is oppress you and hurt you. Come on, somebody. God says it's going to hurt for a moment. But guess what? He says, but you're going you're gonna to be catapulted into a place that you have never been before. But he said, first of all, I need you to renew your mind. Because if you're still thinking like old times and old thinking, you're not going to understand this new thing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, I want to do a new thing in your life. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And fasting helps. I, I, I'm, I'm looking at you, Tracy. You say you, you want to come off those meds. Fasting helps. Don't you know fasting help heals your body? Oh, don't y'all understand the enemy don't like us to fast. Fasting heals your body. My dad, and I don't mind saying, my dad was on 12 medications when I started taking care of him. I've been praying over him. Dad is on one bottle of medication. That's right. That's right. Don't tell me. When people, let me tell you something. The power of God is still real. The power of God is still real. I'm going to say that one more time. The power of God is still real. I don't care what nobody say. God is good. He'll heal you. He'll deliver you. Oh, he'll sanctify you. He'll rectify you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So I pray that you understand in this last hour, we got to be stronger. In this last hour, we're going to last longer. In this last hour, you're going to have to go deeper. And yes, I, I don't I got to keep saying this. We've gotten to the part where we don't want to go through nothing. You have to go through, saith the Lord, because you can't get through if you don't go through. Somebody write that. You can't get through if you don't go through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody in the Bible had to go through something. So you have to be strong. You have to have tenacity. You got to ask God, God, make me strong. You can't be weak in this hour because the, this is the hour of devour. The enemy is trying to take us out. Y'all don't see that? Because y'all can say what y'all want. I don't care. Something wrong with this COVID stuff. That's a lie. I'm telling you, that's a plan of this. This is that was the first hit of this new world order. I keep saying it because God said, y'all know what's coming. I, I, I'm okay. I'm gonna go ahead. I see devices on us. It's like a a, a hand band. I I see cells with with toilets in them. I, I'm gonna say it again. Cells with toilets. I see FEMA camps. I see martial law. I see a pharaoh system. I see death. Y'all understand in the name of Jesus Christ what's coming? And God is saying in this hour, prepare, prepare, prepare. Be strong in the Lord. Have I not commanded you? Joshua 1.8. We're going to die. This is true. But how are you going to die? Don't tell me you came this far to die like a wimpy Christian. The devil is a lie. You better be strong in the Lord to the end, says the Lord. He says, and those that endure will get their crown. Those that endure will, will come into the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're supposed to be preaching and teaching. It ain't all about prosperity because we can't take none of it with us. And it's going to all burn up in the end anyway. Your soul is what the devil's after. Your soul is what you must preserve. Your soul, it, it can't faint in this hour. Your soul, God says, must be knitted with his kingdom. This is real. 
So I'm going to tell y'all what they're doing. And I'm going to tell y'all how they're doing it. They're trying to possess us. They're, I don't know if y'all notice all everything tastes funny water food everything pray over everything because you got to drink and eat right pray over everything women and men of god not trying to scare you but you got to be strong in this hour they ain't coming they're here and they they will take over this world we will have a one world system there will be fema camps i don't care what y'all say is coming it's coming it's coming we will be killed some of us will be killed some of us will be martyrs some of us you know Come on, somebody. Y'all know what time it is. But God says be strong. Hallelujah. All right. So I just want to get up on here. I pray that you continue. Continue to be strong. I don't care what comes. You know, rest if you must. But don't quit, my brother and my sister. Walk in love. Don't hate people. Say what you got to say. Do what you got to say. Do, but don't hate people, God says. Stop being offended so easily. Stop being angry so easily. Walk in love. Walk in love. I keep hearing that. Walk in love. I know it's hard. People are ugly. People are ugly these days. Walk in love. Jesus opened not his mouth. And, and he went through it. Y'all can say what you want. We ain't never got beat with the cat of nine tails. What are you talking about? We ain't never had no nails, you know. We were nailed to a wooden cross. Are you serious? So if God didn't hold back the things that he had to go through, how much more do we? Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I'm praying for you. I really, really am. Hallelujah. So this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real light soldiers for that is truly who we are. Praise God. And, and one thing, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that God open up your spiritual eyes. Now, hold on. Your spiritual eyes, you won't only just see angels, but I pray that God shows you how these demons works. I pray that you have wisdom and discernment in this hour like never before. The enemy is trying to trip us up. The enemy is trying to trip us up, y'all. He's sending people. They pretend to be Christians. They're not Christians. I'm telling y'all what's going on. You need God in this hour. You need to know his voice. You need to know his people. You need to know what's going on. And, and, and I'm telling you right now, it's time to call the enemy out. Don't play with nobody. Don't play with him. I don't care if it was me. Don't play with him. You better let him know what time it is. Hallelujah. Or soap your authority, says the Lord. So God bless you. God keep you. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye.